southeastern Europe, with its pristine nature and mild climate, offers a unique diversity of thriving wild plants. Far removed from major industry and polluted soils, the Balkan countries have become Europe's leading exporter of herbs. Can sustainable use of these herbs give the regional population a future livelihood? In the Adriatic, just off the coast of Croatia, lies the island of Sres. Here, Along a 65-kilometer stretch of land, two climate zones meet, moderate and subtropical. As a result, Sres abounds with around 300 different herbs. Guarino Kucic knows where the coveted wild herbs grow in abundance. We are all from the island of the island. We are taught to do it from the child's childhood. It was done a lot. I živilo se od svog rada i naučili smo cijeniti, voliti ono od čega smo i živjeli i tako nastavljamo. The farmer is looking for sage. The weedy dwarf shrubs poke up among the limestone rocks. Pa da, kad sam ja krenuo sa kaduljom, okolina je to malo, nije to sa simpatijom gledala. To mi se evo... Luđaka, šta radi, recimo. To je bilo, reakcija je bila tako, početi od familije pa i šire. On the island, the sage is exposed to harsh weather conditions. In the salty sea wind, it can only grow slowly and doesn't get very tall. The concentration of the essential oils in its robust leaves is all the more intense. The word sage contains the Latin salvare, which means to heal. Guarino has known the beneficial effect of sage oil since he was a child. Ima više stvari za za posebnosti kadolje. Recimo, pogotovo u narodnoj medicini za liječenje. Ja otkinem grančicu kuša, kadolje i stavljam u usta. Stavljam u usta radi toga da za prevenciju raznih usnih boleština i za rješavanje ako već ima neki problem u usnim šupljinama. He can't use harvesting machines in this terrain. Guerino gathers up to 150 kilos of sage by hand, each day. He used to work on a drilling platform in the North Sea until he heard the success stories about the sage from his home country. Up until the Second World War, the island of Sres was known worldwide for its sage oil. 100 years ago, the barrel maker Andrea Linedic began to distill sage. He exported the fine extract by ship all the way to America. Guerino found one last bottle of Lienerditch's product in his parents' cellar and decided to revive the tradition. Međutim, sad zadnji godina ljudi su se polako osvijestili, polako se vraćamo prirodi i znači ljudi su vidjeli tu sad mogućnost i važnost ljekovitog bilja, šta zašto sve služi i da se može i živjeti. Guarino bought machines and invested all his savings. He chops the sage leaves extra finely. This lets the steam extract more oil from the plant. It all began with a still for hard liquor. Guarino discovered it in his grandfather's barn. Znači, studirao sam, mučio sam se da bi postigao maksimalno. I nisa nikad se ne može postići savršenstvo, ali polako, polako, u godine, u godinu, se usavršava i došao sam do toga i tu sam, mislim da je tu više manje, je to skoro 
salver. To obtain one liter of pure oil, Carino has to distill more than 100 kilos of sage. Znači ide na na maksimalnu kvalitetu i na jednu količinu u granicama nekim tako da da se i održi recimo da ne bi došlo do nekog uništavanja mislim šta ne može doći na način kako mi to radimo jer treba i sutra živjeti prek sutra i za sljedeće generacije Carino doesn't even throw away the residue left in the tank it is used as field manure or as fodder for the farm animals Meanwhile, Garino's sage oil is world famous, and the island of Sres has regained a name in the herb trade. Six euros is the price of the little bottles that Garino sells all the way to America, just as Andrea Linetic once did. The extract is also in demand locally. On Sres, Garino's best customer is Ines Stokic, a wellness therapist. Every two weeks, she needs new oil for her clients. For a long time, the island was in limbo. Tourism and the premium sage oil have made it attractive. The hotels focus their marketing on wellness by the sea. Današnja svakodnevica znači jedna žalo stres. Znači ljudi puno rade i kad dođu na naš otok u biti pokušavaju se nekako odmoriti. Na našem otoku to sve ide onako nekako polagano, usporeno, baš zato da se oni mogu totalno opustiti. Ines's treatment begins with aromatherapy. Pa evo, mogu reći samo da mi za naš posao možemo iskoristiti skoro sve što nam daje ovaj otok. Naša kadulja, ona je majka svih ulja. To je jedno od ulja koje se najviše koristi kod nas. All it takes is a tiny quantity to get the relaxing effect. A mixture of clay and ground olive stones cleanses the skin, a natural peeling treatment. The essential oil of the sage is absorbed by the body. It stimulates the blood flow and energizes body and spirit. Ja mislim da po željama gostiju da, da će se wellness tokom daljnjih godina razvijati sve više i više. Znači ovo što sad vidite to je samo početak. May marks the beginning of the herb season on Sres. For many islanders it's the main season. Among them is Mladen Dragoslavic. When the sage begins to bloom, he has one month to gain his income for the entire year. Mladen is a professional beekeeper, the only one on the island. He owns more than 300 beehives, which he keeps moving to wherever the sage happens to be in bloom. He wants to make the best honey in the Balkans. Through careful observation, he knows which flowers the bees prefer and when. Evo ovdje vidite pčelu koja ima žuti polen, žutu pelud i ta pčela ne nosi pelud sa kadulje. Pelud sa kadulje je vrlo sitna, bijele boje i imaju vrlo ograničenim količinama. For climatic reasons, the sage bloom begins down by the sea and rises day by day up into the mountains. 
Jednom riječju u sebe bih mogao upisati kao lovca na med. Brze i kratke odluke dovode do života ovdje. Osobito u pčelarstvu jer vrijeme za preživljavanje je vrlo kratko i o jednoj kvalitetnoj ili jednoj lošoj odluci ovisi život na ovdje. For Mladen, it's a game of chance with a fairly unreliable partner. Predpostaviti kako će i u kojem trenutku kadilja mediti vrlo je teško. Jedan vjetar, jedna bura, jedno, jedna, jedna, jedna kiša sa malo više vode jednostavno upropasti cijelu godinu i vi je morate ponovno čekati novih 365 dana. The sage plants bloom for only a few days. During this period, the flowers need to be pollinated. It's give and take, for without the bees, the sage couldn't survive. The bees in turn need nectar and pollen for their colony. It's a symbiotic relationship between plant and insect, under great time pressure. their proboscis, the bees suck up the nectar and store it in their bodies. Maladin's bees are particularly long and narrow. This helps them squeeze into the tiny blossoms. They probably wouldn't voluntarily choose sage. Its blossom is constructed like a siphon. Entering and exiting is hard on the bees. This effort shortens their life expectancy after three weeks, at the latest, Mladen has to take them off the island. Otherwise, they would die of exhaustion. With great effort, the heavily laden bees reach their hive. During peak blooming season, they produce five kilos of honey each day. With a sage content of more than 80%, the honey from Mladen's bees is exceptionally pure. Tako znamo da je kadulja. Svjetla je, uvijek je zelenkasta. Tečna. One ko dođe na otok Ceres, a nije probao naš kaduljin med, zbilja napravio je veliki propust u svojoj u svojoj posjeti. Hmm. Business is good. Mladen's production is sold out before the harvest begins. What worries him, though, is the future of honey production on the island. Ja se nadam da će doći ljudi koji će se time početi baviti. Treba raditi na njima, treba ih pokušati obučiti za tako nešto i to je jedini način da da se kadulin med nastavi u budućnosti na našem otoku proizvoditi. It's uncertain whether Mladen's daughter will continue the family business. <laughs> More than 300 different medicinal herbs grow in the Balkans. For centuries, the knowledge of their use was passed down only by word of mouth, so much of it has been lost. Yet some of this lore can still be found in the Macedonian capital of Skopje, in the country's last herbal dispensary. Slagjana Stojanova is one of the main herbal experts on the Balkan Peninsula. For the plants, she gave up her job as a journalist. To se koga ima jedan moment koga ti na, lično na sebe ke podsusuvaš pomoš od nekoja bilka i od jednaš ke se otvori to magično pole i ti ke počneš toliko da im veruvaš jednostavno si nekako su drug odnos koni i započnuva to druženje. Slagjana offers exclusively her own products, tea mixtures, tinctures and creams. In Macedonia, they're officially approved as medicine. 
Mislim da to je može bi ono što malku ne deli od nekoj drugi što samo se trgovci, što samo gi prodavat bilkite. Nije sme bilkari, znači gi sakame, gi počitujeme, gi poznavame, gi neguvame, gi kultivirame i gi prodavame. Slagiana grows 25 herbs in her own fields. Miki, znači da ga napravimo za poviške za mjesec. Da, za mjesec da alergije, da. This Macedonian expert is even planning a factory for herbal medicines. She dreams of a network of herbal dispensaries, caring for people's needs. But she prefers to treat her customers' aches and pains herself. I za belite drobovi, i za kašlanje, i za alergija, i će biti super. Bravo, bravo. Poveke se pišuva, poveke se zboruva, se čita. Tako da mislim da je naredite desetina godine bilkite ke odat so trend nagore i duri i ke se dobližat poprilično i na oficijalna ta medicina popularnosta. Lagiana owes her knowledge of herbs to the elderly women from the surrounding villages. She has conducted countless inquiries, jotted down nearly forgotten recipes, and systematically tested their effects. I would like to give a little bit of a gift. I just feel that this is a mission for me, for my family, to give a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of work around the bilk and for the bilk. Slagiana tests all her herbal products on herself first. For her recipe books, her husband documents and photographs each step of the process. Slagiana is convinced that natural products can be of benefit to the local population, particularly in economically weak regions. I think that in Macedonia, it would be good to have a national strategy for the use of bilks, for the animal from nature and for the use of the people around it. It's a national campaign in the sense that we are close to bilks, we always use them. For example, close to bilks, so it's a nice welcome for the use of bilks, but it's also a lot more effective for the country. She even takes her message onto Macedonian television. Во последно време, благодарение на тоа што има и повеќе информации за тоа, така е баш една фина фина атмосфера во која што луѓето може да и да чујат за билките и да запомнат и да примена. Прашање добро утро ќе и кажам на Слажа на Стенов. Her regular appearances on morning TV news shows have made her books bestsellers. There's been a marked rise in demand for herbs. In Skopje, as in many cities, hollyhock grows almost unnoticed. Though the plant resembles a rose, it is an herb. Inconspicuous plants that have conquered a spot between concrete and asphalt appeal to the artist Iva Jozifova. Parejki bilkan iz gradot me fascinira sama ta boja na cvetot. Hollyhock is the raw material for Iva's art a never-ending source from which she keeps drawing. Hollyhock contains medicinal mucilage, which is used in a variety of cough tea mixtures, while Eva transforms it into art objects. Eva studied art. During the drawing process, she had the idea that paper itself could be a form of artistic expression. The raw material for most paper is ground wood, 
However, Eva creates her paper from the fibers of the hollyhock. Много дълго време работя в проучвайки самата технология. От кога го запознах ово медиум, то беше любов на пръв поглед. Eva must boil the stems for one day to break down the fine fibers and produce a cellulose pulp. The pulp is then mixed with cotton cellulose. In the process, Eva takes advantage of the properties of hollyhock. Значи основата, основата е от кратко вакнестата целулоза. Слезот е во оваа ситуација толку вакнестата целулоза која што ја прави арматурата, цврстината на самата хартија. Hand scooping is one of the oldest forms of paper production. The long hollyhock fibers make it possible to lay the paper on objects and then model it. Eva's favorite objects for this work are stones. Светот во во природата е нешто најубаво што може да постои, а најкратко трае. А оттаму дојде идејата да цветовите ги зимам од самата природа и ги заробувам во хартијата и ги оставам да бидат вечни. Eva's works of art have a message. Macedonia's plant life is in danger. To the artist, the resilient hollyhock stands for all the plants that are slowly losing their natural habitats. The striving for industrial growth and booming construction threaten to crowd out Macedonia's sensitive wild vegetation. The global effort for sustainability is making slow progress in the Balkans, in part because it is hardly promoted by the government. Eva abducts the herbs from the city, and finally she returns them to the people as objects of art. Delicate sculptures, as fragile as nature. Преку уметноста ја пренесувам пораката да се зачува природата, да ја разбием еколошката свеска и кај ујето. Bulgaria. Here, 300,000 people work with herbs. In the expansive Rodopi mountains, we find a place of extraordinary repute. Trigrad is a village with a population of just under 1,000. People say its inhabitants are especially fit and healthy. In Bulgaria, it is known as the village of centenarians. The Trigrader's reputed elixir is an herbal tea. Си спиеме по един чай, сме водри да отиваме на полето да работим. По-силено, по-биаграта. Пътя сексо увеличава. Ято увеличайте. Казва се биаграта на Триград. Казва, че е вярно. Вярно е. Вярно е. Аз, моята майка, като съм родил 400 година, ме е окъпал с такъв чай ме е напред и тако. Затова съм, виж, 80 години, нема, слава Богу, Бога, не знам нищо. The mountain tea is the big seller from Trigrad. On the mountain slopes above the town, the locals cultivate a million plants. At the end of June, the harvest begins. Then, everyone follows Svetla Bogdanova's command. Предстои ни 20-25 дни да берем чая. За това ви пожелавам приятна работа и да се отнасяме винаги така към чая. С любов и уважение. 
Harvesting mountain tea isn't just a job. For the women, it's a ritual. Ами ние тук се разбираме поначало, но нищо не излазе навънка. Тук, което споделим, тук си остава, като затворена книга сме. The tea harvest is a welcome source of income, supplementing their meager pensions. Svetla and the other villagers are delighted by the rising demand. The mountain tea has to be cut while in bloom, when its active substances are the strongest. What began as a bit of extra income has become a real economic factor. Радвам се, че младите се занимават с тази придобивка за нашия край. Много е радостно, защото тя носи надежда и бъдеще на младите хора. А това е много важно при тази безработица. The workday begins at 9 a.m., when the dew on the leaves has evaporated. It lasts until late in the evening, by which time the women have harvested some 30,000 spikelets. Just a few years ago, mountain tea was practically extinct. The existence of plantations is primarily due to the efforts of Mikhaela Jordanova. It all began when the biologist came to Trigrad to study the wild herbs in the Rodopis. Rodopis is a plant that is extremely rich in biodiversity. At the same time, it also presents its own special kinds of plants, which are a great pleasure from a professional perspective. The mountain tea belongs to the family of the Labiates and prefers a dry environment with plenty of sun. It grows wild only in the Karst Mountains, above 1,300 meters. Морсавският чай е един пример на организъм, който се нуждае от разбиране и от място сред природата. Защитата, която тук търси, е да избяга настрани от високите тръви, а тук намира подкрепа от условията на средата, които не са благоприятни за развитие на други растения. The mountain tea is perfectly adapted to its environment. Its hairy exterior reflects light in the summer. In the winter, it warms and protects against freezing. Michaela has performed numerous series of tests. The substances in the mountain tea have an antibacterial effect and are said to help with stomach ailments and kidney stones. The only thing her research failed to find was proof of the tea's legendary potency boosting effect. Такива растения често ги споменават като панацея, растения, които лекуват всички болести, покрай което се създадоха и много легенди за неговите свойства, които не всички са верни. Съществува конкуренция между самите хора, кой ще набере повече чай, поради което те бързат да го съберат незряло и дори го изкубват с корените. Михаела's hope rested on the strongest and most vital plants she gathered in the mountains. In her garden laboratory, she examined their properties and crossed various species until the plants were so resilient that they could be propagated. 
Моята цел е чрез опазването му да покажа, че хората могат да разберат взаимовръзката между опазването на видовете и използването им като ресурс. Михаела, ела да видиш те за разсада, нали са? In this project, she has the villagers' support. The new breed enables them to grow the valuable herb at home, in their gardens, or in the field. Преди години почти загубихме едно растение от дивата флора на родопите. С новите ни усилия, които полагаме, се надявам отново да го видя сред дивата природа, неговото ново бъдеще. Родопски принцески му викаме да това. Михаила's dream has come true. Each year the tree graders send four tons of their tea out into the world. Demand is rising. The buyers are pharmaceutical companies in Germany, but also private customers on every continent. Even the Japanese order Bulgarian mountain tea. Despite all the scientific evidence, many tree graders persist in believing in herbal Viagra. A successful marketing strategy. Perhaps. The Balkans are considered Europe's poorhouse. High unemployment has caused depopulation of the rural areas. Yet there are people trying to stem the tide. Nikola Nikolov is a teacher in the village Chiprovci in the Bulgarian Balkan mountains. With his pupils, he's created a school garden for herbs. С работата в опитното поле, първо да бъдат запознати с тия растения, които липсват и които те след нас ще продължат да разпространяват. Това, което сме започнали, те ще го довършват. Айде да видим сега. One herb is particularly dear to Nicola. Dyer's matter. Its roots make it so valuable. Броша се казва с научното име Рубия тинкторум, а всички, които се багри с тях, те са тинктория, значи багрилно. Червено, багрилно. To obtain the dyer's matter dye, the pupils need patience and sharp knives. In former times, the inner part of the root was used throughout Europe for dyeing wool and silk. Roman uniforms and Turkish headwear were in the rich red of dyer's matter. With the discovery of the first synthetic pigments in the late 1900s, the cultivation of dyer's matter came to a halt. Even in Chiprovci, the plant became extinct, although for centuries it had been used throughout the region to dye wool. Nicola is trying to revive the memory of the forgotten herb. Учениците вече знаят за тия растения, за които възрастните дори имената им не знаят. Така че аз вадя заключение от това, че всичко, което съм правил през тия 30 години, все нещо е останало и ще остане за в бъдеще. Chiprovci was once a flourishing weaving center. The villagers mainly produced carpets. The herbal dyes made each rug unique and were in great demand. Nicola's work with his pupils has made the village hum. His dyes have revived an old trade. As a youngster, Svetana was a professional carpet weaver. She recently took up her craft again. There used to be a loom in every house, 
until the market failed with the collapse of communist rule. The work was no longer profitable. It takes Tsvetana one month to weave one meter of carpet. None of the youngsters wanted to continue the hard work. The natural dyes, though, could revive their interest. Природната багра е мека. Тя действа успокоително на човека. Химическите бои много интензивно, много плътни цветове дават, докато природните багрила цветовете са по избеляли, по и почти винаги смесени. И това е добре. This sensibility for sustainable, naturally produced products from Bulgaria is also welcomed in Western Europe. For Nicola, Dyer's matter is only the beginning. From seed companies in Germany, he's ordered the seeds of other dye plants that used to grow in Chiprovci. Тагата ми идва от там, че ние губим много растения. Всеки човек, когато нещо притежава, той не го цени достатъчно. И чак когато го изгуби, разбира какво е изгубил. His wife, Penka, helps him archive the plants. A botanical manual will inform the villagers about the dye plants of Chiprovci. Всеки човек през живота си нещо прави. Аз имам задачата да върна изгубените растения. Nicola's production can hardly keep up with demand. He's already planning to add more fields of Dyer's matter, together with his pupils. Мечтата ми е първо чипровци да стане такова каквото беше, да се напълни с хора, млади хора. The fact that the Balkan countries are not industrialized also has its advantages. The countryside is free of pollutants, and the Mediterranean climate helps provide fertile soils. Thus, the trade with medicinal herbs is growing increasingly lucrative. From the small Macedonian town of Novo Selo comes a plant extract that gives cancer sufferers new hope. But the line between magic potion and hocus pocus is, as so often, a fine one. Some call it wonder juice, others a ripoff. Varu Mi provides a livelihood for half the village. It all began with this man, Dr. Ivan Gyogiev. The certified agricultural engineer claims to have already helped Fidel Castro and former Croatian president Tuchman in their struggles against cancer. For many villagers, he's more important than the mayor. На ова план на ово граждан ги знам сите могучи места кои каква почва друго каква топлина и самата на почва на каков квалитет на билки на треба да дадат. Ајде дружио, арли работа. Уво. Over many years, Georgiev has charted the wild herbs in the mountains. At an elevation of 1,400 meters, he found the plants that were his windfall. Deca, 
и треба да докажеме дека моите на здравието е во билките. In these higher regions, we find large fields of St. John's wort. The plant is an essential ingredient of his supposed wonder drug. Before varumin can be produced from the herbs, they have to be dried for several weeks. Supposedly, 35,000 customers have ordered Dr. Gyogiev's liquid. Varuminot is made of 30 something bilki. First, they need to be used for the improvement of the immune system. Then, the second part of the е да самиот болесник кој ќе почне да го употребува варуминот, да самиот си а, виде кој ќе застане пред огледалото дека има промени. Иван Гиогиев claims he cured his own cancer years ago using herbs. Afterward, he began to experiment and develop varumin. Да лојката си кажува своето за каков лек ќе направиш и дошто. И има друго, да самата природа си има створено. Дали на цвет, дали на лис, за кој орган. Значи, природата си го само тоа ствара, не друг. A three-month course of treatment with the liquid costs 1,700 euros. Its effectiveness so far remains unproven. June 24, the day when Bulgarians celebrate herbs. For this occasion, Ralitsa Kaheyova and her girlfriends get up at 3 a.m. Радостта е най-естественото човешка емоция и точно когато си в природата ти усещаш най-много. И след това почувстваш неговите очи как те стоплят от стоплят цялото ти тяло и всичко е толкова различно. Фотореши носи дека to Bulgarians, St. John's Day is more important than Christmas. They say the sun has nearly reached the end of its journey into summer. The girls spent the previous evening weaving wreaths of herb blossoms. Now they're waiting for the first rays of dawn. On this day, the power of the bees is the most powerful. И тя се предава върху хората. Ние можем да черпим от нея постоянно. Тя е нашия енергиен източник и ние се възползваме от това. The wealth of wild herbs and medicinal plants holds great potential for the Balkan countries. Farmers, biologists and wild plant experts are beginning to exploit this potential. Future wealth from herbs from the Balkans will depend on their sustainable management. Вярата в добрите неща, защото това е едно от тези добри неща, които се надявам хората да запазят със себе си, като традицията, 